It's Friday. I don't know when y'all will be getting this episode, but today it's Friday. Look at this beautiful thing. This guy, he owns that one. What a badass. Thanks for bringing them in, we appreciate it. But we're gonna be uh, doing the bed on this one and putting some manifolds and a brake booster on it. So, he's got these old crusty rusties down there. Nobody wants those. So gotta swap those out and this brake booster is leaking. Getting all over the nice paint down there. Look how bright it is, y'all can't even see me. <laughs> so this is what we're working on on this beautiful Friday. He says when he takes it out, the bed likes to fade. So we're going to figure out a way to make this stay a flat black without fading on him. So that's the plan on this one. Let's dive into it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Check this. Y'all ever seen a bolt come off that easy? Man, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh huh. Especially being an exhaust bolt. Yeah, no joke. So that's freaking awesome. So far, those things have been buttery. Check this. <laughs> little, little ting and a break loose. So today's our lucky day. We will not be replacing any bolts in those in those heads. So cha ching. <laughs> All right, so we've got this leak right here, as you guys can see, and it appears it's coming out of the last manifold bolt. So Mahoney just pulled it off and it just started leaking. You can see it right there. The last oh manifold yeah, bolt. right up in there in the last manifold bolt there. Steadily driven. No kidding. Pretty good leak there, so. We're gonna have to address that most, most definitely. There it is, going in. One out, one in. Cha, look at those pretty things. Golly. Come right out the top, huh? Yep. Nice and easy, right out the top. Yeah, buddy. Just like that, both manifolds are basically on. Lots of room there. I was honestly kind of thinking we were gonna have to remove a few things, but nothing at all. Next up, brake booster, then onto the bed. Gotta leave it a little loose. That way we, we can do our modifications as we put it on. So as you guys hear, Mahoney's having to, he actually had to swap these around. They were backwards and when they were put on, so we swapped them to look like those ones. And then he's using this extension rod. It was a new one that was added to it. Um, this one's probably all fine and dandy, but we'll just leave it on there. A couple little gouges. Um, he gave us a new one, so we'll use it. I know he won't have a problem getting another one almost almost positive so we're just gonna use all the new with the new put it in there um this one definitely did have a leak uh there's no doubt about it they're the only place it was coming from we can see it right down here leaked all along so definitely a culprit there and actually when we were pumping the brakes trying to get the fluid to come out of them after we disconnected everything it really wasn't leaking any fluid out so um I'm sure the brakes worked fine and it all worked good, but that's just kind of something we noticed. So getting that swapped out, he'll probably get it rebuilt. And then we will most likely be putting it in the 66 Suburban. I think that's what this brake booster is for. So luckily enough for him, he's got two vehicles to do it with. They had to build a couple. Oh, aren't those nice? Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Okay. Interesting. So that's what we're working with there. Those look really good. Mahoney did a screaming job throwing those in there. Didn't take long at all. Fit real nice. So that's where we're at on this. I just made a homemade creeper. You know, when you, when you gotta just get by, you just get by. So I got that so I can start getting under here, getting all these bolts out. And then we're gonna pull this wood floor, paint it up. All right, so that's the new rod. This is the rod that they shortened. They grabbed it with some pliers there and then shortened it up. So we're gonna mark this one, shorten it up, 
and then it'll match. We'll have to wiggle the lengths around a little bit. These rods are definitely the same length. Oh yeah, they're so the same ones. We'll adjust it out and get that cut to fit, and then we'll be on the road. When you're doing these, I think that said it was what a 50 to 56 Balair. Yeah. So it's for a Balair, and one part's for a Balair there, and then one of the parts is for uh, the booster brackets for a Balair and the pedal extension assembly. So that's probably why they had to cut it down was to make it fit that Balair one. But no harm, no foul. We'll cut it up, get it going, and look at the progress this guy's making. Ooh, it's getting close. Getting real close. We got the FRS out here. Trunks all painted. Got the louvers painted. Side skirts are painted. Hoods all painted. We're just letting it do a little bakey bake out here. And then we will polish a few little things of dirt out. And then we're gonna be installing a supercharger on this thing as well. So by we, I mean him and his mouse. So them two are gonna knock it out. And then, uh, yeah, but that's for the FRS video. Back onto the Chevy. This is how our day's been going. We are almost there. We've got this bag full and another bag full. Look at all of these. Not even done yet. Not even done yet. And that's just to get the wood out. We've got a couple pieces out already, but Mahoney did a kick butt job on this thing today. Booster is in, looks nice. Boom, boom, done, done. We fired it up. We figured out what our coolant leak was. That very back bolt right there on the manifold. Somebody got a little too crazy with it and uh, the bolt went all the way into the head. So when we took the bolt out, it started leaking coolant. So we Tefloned it, tightened it back up. No more coolant leak, just as if it was. So that's kind of the deal with that one there. Too easy. Let's get this bed out. This thing's been a nightmare. I did just notice this. Boop. Get a clamp on that. Good to go. You get her? Uh, no. no, no, didn't get her. We had to drop the tank down a good little ways um, to get these bolts that are way up underneath here. You can kind of see Mahoney's hand over there. Yeah, they're a nightmare. So that's kind of what we're fighting with on those ones. As soon as we he gets that last one there, we should be able to get this bed out. So. Only time will tell here. Let's see. Look at the pain. Look at it. Oh, it's so terrible. It's uh huh. Uh huh. See how I just sit and laugh at him. Just laugh, 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 laugh. I'm terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> there it went. Sound of relief right there. Let's see uh, if this thing will come out now. Oh yeah. I say you on a oh, so that well should come with it. Yeah. Oh, remember we left that one, the single one. Right? Yeah. You want us to go, want to go ahead and take that one off? Should we? Can you reach her? How tight did you get it? Oh no, that one's loose. I just gotta get underneath there again. <laughs> one more, one more bolt. That's the only one we left, huh? I think so. Yeah, that was smart of us. Yeah, we're thinking about taking this out with it. Right? Yeah.
gotta get all the little side ones out. There'll be a little bit of a chore. Nope, nope. single stage. That stuff's tough stuff right there. So, pop these little ones. Call it a day there. Too easy. Too easy. All right. Yeah, that wasn't. It wasn't too bad. That was a lot of bolts. Oh, y'all didn't see the rest of it. All the way across there. All the way across the back. This whole runner, this whole runner, that whole runner, and that whole runner. Lots of bolts. So it's out. We're gonna start figuring out what we gotta do with it now. Throw it back in. All right, y'all, I'm currently in the paint booth. These are parts for the C10 Chevy. Um, this is actually the true wood bed. I've got it in here. I just put my first pass a flat clear on these and it's actually working. I wasn't gonna film any of this because this is my first time ever doing this and I didn't wanna make a fool of myself, but it really seems to be working so I figured I'd throw it on. Uh, here we have just flat, or excuse me, gloss black base coat laid down. And I did that on these ones and then I made my first pass of clear on it. And it actually is working. It's working very well. So it's flashing up pretty good over there, drying out, glossing here. So I am going to continue on on these parts, and I figured I'd just uh, let you guys join along. So let's clear that other section and then see what it all looks like. So we just got it laid down, it went really well. It says on the can, the lighter you make the pass, the uh, less gloss you'll have on your finish. So that's what I'm doing there, is just nice light passes, just enough to get good solid coverage. And then uh, I might do another pass over that, that was my first pass. So I'm trying to keep those really dry there and it's working. So that was my first pass. I'm gonna go follow that up with a second here in about 10, 15 minutes. Let that flash up really well. Make sure it's all completely dry. Hit it with the second coat just so I know it's got good UV protection and then that will be done. So we can go ahead and get ready to throw that back into the truck. There she is, all back together. Look at that wood bed. I really dig having all these lights up here. It makes it look pretty dang good in there. First attempt at painting wood. Um, it went really well. That is a flat clear on there. Um, base coat, matrix base coat. Uh, I think Mastercraft clear coat, flat clear. And it went really smooth. And then we also, let's see if I can get it here. Bear with me. I don't like these big old hoods. Ugh. Brake booster is on. Everything checks out good there. No leaks. Them are pretty snazzy. Both of them good there. So that's it. We just gotta give this thing a good bath. I'm just waiting to hear from the customer. Um, I kinda wanna know how he washes this thing, what he uses it uses to keep it clean. Um, I don't wanna use a chemical of mine and have it just 
I want to make sure that it, I mean, look how nice it is. He keeps his truck very clean, very well taken care of. It's just got a little dirt on it. So like I said, I want to talk to the customer first, see what he uses, and then we'll wash this thing up and it'll be good to go. Turnkey LS, beautiful restoration. Uh, very thankful to be able to work on it for him there. Like I said, same owner as that one. I got a sheet in down there for the 66. So we will be getting back on that thing here very, very shortly. But that's gonna be it for this C10. Maybe you guys will see it roll out of here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a struggle putting this bed back in, I tell ya. Um, it was just so many nuts and bolts and which ones had washers and which ones didn't. And uh, just the joys of putting it back together, it was quite the task. So I didn't really film none of that due to that. Came out pretty good. All right, it's out of here. Got this one cleaned up. Look at that, fire's right up. Turn key. He's on the road. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for the episode of the 66. We will have that truck back. We're gonna be doing a few things to it here and there, um, but that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little bell, and we will catch y'all on the next episode.